There we go. Welcome, welcome to the stream. American Truck Simulator. right just waiting to see if the stream comes up okay with the right uh, title and everything See, it says playing desktop. Aha! That's why I do this, is to try to get this uh, updated. <clears throat> because. And I do have the webcam on this morning, which is wonderful because I'll lower that so it doesn't echo back. So yesterday I had a goal of reaching 50,000. And as you can see, we have $51,732. In our bank account right now. Yeah. How much of this is cashed? Games. Let's do a search. Now I see that. <clears throat> Let me go to the web browser here. Oh, it's not what I wanted. There we go. Chrome bookmarks. Other book models. Entertainment. Edwards Dashboard on Twitch. There we go. I do all of this so this will have the correct the correct title and 
and I think I've got everything like I want it now. Okay. Very good. Yeah, this would be complicated by having run in uh, OBS or something, but I'm not going to do that. I do have the webcam uh, up in the top corner today. Hopefully this doesn't cover up anything. I don't think it does. If we look at our world map. Coffee, coffee. We see Truckee and Huron are two cities we have yet to uh, explore. So the first jobs that I take today will be ones that end in either Truckee or Huron. Very simple. And there's one from San Diego to Truckee. We spent a lot of time in this game on I-5 in California. It's unavoidable. And so uh, let's go ahead and take this job. We've been assigned a K-Womper. Kenworth as our truck showing 15 hours two minutes when this load is due it's 4 55 p.m. in the afternoon Is that the right way or the wrong way? We'll never know. We'll never know. There's a guy working on a car. And we're on the road again, driving our truck, making money, hauling stuff, looking for gals that want to go for a ride. I've been to San Diego in real life a couple of times. It's a place that I like to visit. And a couple of the reasons I like to visit it are it's got pretty steady nice weather it's also the airport isn't too far from downtown so if we use a taxi or a uber or a lyft or whatever walk out of the airport in the car and within not that long find yourself at your place or wherever your hotel or whatever you're staying downtown it's a place that's friendly for walking around Pretty expensive to live in San Diego, though. <clears throat> Any place that's got a lot of nice stuff is expensive. 
San Diego is really close to Mexico. So, in some ways, you get two cultures. You get California and you get Mexican culture for the price of one trip. I don't think having stop signs at red lights is up to code either in this game. I'm just saying that. Typically, you would not have a stop sign where there's a red light. time I see these green crosses in the game, I think it's, in California, I think medical marijuana dispensary, you know, for patients to get their medicine. So what I'm thinking when I see it. And that SPS storage sign up there looks very much like the same colors that public storage Let me tell you what, folks, having those public storage spaces, that's like, you know, that's the gift that keeps on giving. As soon as you put some of your stuff into one of them storage spaces, you start paying that bill every month. It's out of mind. You're, it's like, ah, oh, it's easier to pay the bill than to deal with the fact of that I really don't need that stuff or I should get rid of that stuff or that stuff's not worth it or whatever. I mean, I know there's some cases where having a storage unit makes sense but I think a whole lot of storage unit businesses depending upon human nature to collect things and to become attached to things and to not really and to place emotional value on things. So, but it's the same. I can, I can rail about people who have a, a garage, and instead of parking cars in the garage, they fill their garage up with shit. And their car sits outside and gets weather beaten. They take a greater depreciation loss on the car, and who knows if that stuff in the garage is really worth worth it but you know I the garage is a place we can put stuff and there's also a lot of times smaller houses where people have taken the garage and have converted the garage into extra living space at the expense of having cars sit out in the driveway popo it's only 55 here and I'm already speeding yeah, I have not been doing a good job in this game of avoiding tickets and accidents and other things which reduce the amount of money that you can earn. I need to be better about that. Because right now, the phase I am in in the game is I'm trying to save enough money to buy a garage of my own and a truck of my own. My truck is going to be over $100,000 of in-game money. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the price of garages yet, but I don't think they're cheap. These railings on bridges, like they keep people from jumping off or throwing shit over them. You don't see those everywhere. I remember seeing them in California, but you don't see them everywhere. Maybe people in California are just more uh, suicidal and mischievous. If I see an easy in, easy out gas station, I'll be tempted to pop in and get some fuel and then probably 
past the halfway mark on this trip if we see a place to sleep in game. I'll take advantage of that as well. What are these people hitting the brakes for? Come on, folks. What are you doing? Stupid asses. Those sound walls, that sound wall you see on the right, uh, that's, there's a couple different designs, but those are very common in California where the freeway gets widened and it's in an urban area and there's neighborhoods and stuff, so they'll put a sound wall up. But there's a lot of talk about how sound walls actually take the sound from the freeway and they reflect it, they bounce it up and over. People that are not next to the freeway, but are further away from the freeway, start hearing freeway sounds that didn't hear freeway sounds in the past. So it's like, yeah, it might make it quieter for the people that live next to the freeway at the expense of other people. But that's what happens when you have a shit ton of people and a shit ton of freeways in a state. We can cut on our lights. What the fuck is going on up here with this slow traffic? Looky loose. Get your heads out of your buttholes. So I'm playing this game and streaming it up to Twitch live live in vivo gratis but um i also will take this gameplay and will export it to my youtube channel so you may be watching this after the fact over on my youtube channel which is okay the difference, one of the main differences being is if you watch on Twitch, you can type into the chat and from time to time as I play the game, I look over at the, yeah, whatever. There goes a thousand dollars out of my wallet for speeding, sons of bitches. How can this only be 55 miles an hour? There's a stupid popo right there. I should run into him. But I'd lose more money for that. Fuck you. So I won't do that. It's not like Grand Theft Auto where the cops will get out of the car and shoot you. Or real life. So, um... So yeah, so if you watch on Twitch, you have the ability to interactively type in a chat window and talk to the person playing the game or anyone else who is in that chat viewing the gameplay. Spend a good time, good amount of time watching other people play games on Twitch. It's something I often will have up going on one of my monitors while I'm doing other work. But when I play, about half the time I play games, I will uh, will stream. here at the beginning of the stream you know, you'll hear me talking about using the NVIDIA shadow play it's something that's related to my uh, video drivers and video cards 
it's not uh, particularly complicated, although it does take a little bit of work to get the game title to come up right in uh, Twitch. And I do need to, I do use another device to, uh, to verify that my stream is working. also how I capture the, uh, well, Twitch captures the stream and that's what I use to export to, uh, to YouTube. The uh, software is also what's doing the overlay of the, uh, oh, there, there was a police car on the side of the road that I went past at 78 and a 55 and I did not get a ticket, so. Uh, that's also what's doing the overlay of my video, uh, of my uh, webcam in the top left corner of the screen. And something that you don't get to see, but I can see, is in the bottom left hand corner of my screen, I have a frames per second counter that shows me how many frames second the game is playing at. Normally it's playing it on this game. It's locked in at 60 frames per second. Every now and then it will dip. But that's what I'm seeing. So most of the professional streamers on Twitch use a software called OBS. And they will run that software either on their main see the PC that they're streaming from or some of them will have a second PC and this OBS software takes it uh, does the actual uh, streaming up to Twitch and it lets them do uh, overlays and position the uh, camera where they want and you'll notice you can see the wood panel wall uh, behind me and the very edge of my keyboard uh, that I have here um, when you just see the those streamers kind of floating in front of their game screen it's because they're using a chroma key or a green screen or a blue screen uh, to effectively let the software kind of just cut their cut their image out and put it on top of the screen and that's something else that can be done in, uh, in OBS they also have things like uh, notifiers where when somebody tips their uh, tips them or follows them or if they are partnered with Twitch and they uh, people can subscribe when that happens. All that stuff is done through uh, software that works with OBS to, to throw those overlays up. So. That's one of the reasons that my stream is kind of very plain, doesn't have all that fancy stuff, is because I'm not using OBS for it. I think if I wanted to become serious and uh, spend a lot of time, a lot more time streaming and I had a lot more uh, viewers and was looking to uh, maybe do it for monetary reasons that uh, using OBS as a part of a streaming setup would make sense. Also if I didn't have the video card software that would allow me to do it uh, the way that I'm currently doing it then that would probably be something that I would be using but for now the um, work rewards I think it's just fine for me to use the uh, the NVIDIA function. So I'm looking at my bed. My bed is showing a pretty good amount of it is um, is blue. My gas is about halfway there. 
but it's saying I'm only two hours and 41, two hours and 37 minutes away from, uh, from my destination. So in fact, May uh, this may be one that I do not have to stop for gas or uh, or sleep. You go through Sacramento a lot in this game. I five in Sacramento or like here Maine, North South drag to get places even if you're going over to Nevada you go, if you're the bit upon whether you're going to northern or southern Nevada if you're going to northern Nevada you go through uh, Sacramento as well and I think during my time in California I drove past Sacramento a number of times I don't recall getting off the expressway and actually spending any time not driving in Sacramento. A while back I had to do a video interview for a job and I moved my PC my desk that the PC is sitting on, a little cart. I kind of flipped it around 180 degrees. Used to be there was like open space and you could see into the living room of my house um, behind me. And that caused changing light uh, conditions and some other things. And so in order to get a more uniform background and, and better lighting, there's some lights I have that are they're off right now, but they point I can cut them on and I can change the, the lighting, uh, make it brighter. Uh, I flipped my computer desk around. That's where the, the camcorder or the webcam started facing the, uh, this direction. Oh, no. Busted by the cops again. I could run into that cop, but that would just take more money out of my pocket. Now what I found is once you've got the ticket, there's no reason to slow down because you're not going to get another ticket right away for speeding. Okay, let's look and see if anything's coming. No, nothing's coming. Right. We're a trucky. And my strategy at parking is I could just get zero XP. I could back up trucks and park them in the spots and make 90 XP. But I just say I'm going to play it safe. And I do this for a couple of reasons. One is I'm not that particularly good at backing up the truck. And two, you lose time. It takes additional time to do that. And so I figure I could... I can earn a little bit and in the time that it takes to maybe have parked it right.
All right, so here's our first job. We got Trucky knocked off the list. We picked up some money. We lost uh, two grand to speeding tickets. We got uh, another skill point. We're at $58,000 here. progress history. We're gradually making our way up through here. Seven hours playing time. Nine days in game. 25 deliveries. 55% on the roads. We've hit 10,000 miles in our uh, progress. You just saw our skills map here. I haven't got to the point where we could uh, unlock and work on uh, hazardous cargo profiles. No, I do not want to. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Photos. All right. Preferred truck. Let me see if I look at truck drivers. We've got a. Kenworth trucks, Peterbilt trucks. All right, those are the two kinds of trucks that are in there. I can tell you right now, 58,000 does not buy a truck. If we go to the bank, All right, this is where we can take out loans. You borrow these loans and you have to drive this much a day to cover the loan cost. All right. That's how they get you. And you notice garage manager has not opened up yet. So we can't buy a garage yet. So let's look at this map again. I think uh, Huron is the only city we haven't uh, discovered. So let's take a job to get us uh, to discover Huron. Hey, what's going on? Easy to read. One, two, three. Not a lot. Just uh, working on uh, progress here in uh, American Truck Simulator. Drinking my coffee. Trying to wake up. I may have missed... Uh, I don't know how long ago you typed that. If I missed it, I am sorry for not responding earlier. Just looking for a job that ends in Huron. Oh, there was one. Right here. San Rafael to Huron. Let's take this job. All right. It's night time. Let's get our headlights on. Turn your headlights on with one headlight. Bow, bow, bow.
2.35 in the morning. That's a natural time to be sleepy. Although there's not as much traffic on the roads, so it's a good time to drive. Coffee of the day is gone. Oh, 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 brakes, 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 brakes. Shoo. That was a close call. Goodbye, Napa Valley. I know there's a steam achievement for hauling loads for the three different uh, vine vineyards, wineries, vineyards, whatever, in game. I figured that would just happen naturally. There was a an achievement for delivering to both San Francisco and Oakland shipyards and I know I got that I think there's an achievement for discovering all of the cities which I expect to get here shortly I don't really care that much about steam uh, accomplishments but I will look occasionally and if there's one that I'm close to close to getting I'll modify my behavior to earn it but the whole steam steam trading cards and the other kind of stuff I don't know if you know um, when you play these games on PC and you buy through uh, or the steam it's uh, something that works with the steam there's this whole playing card business and uh, one of the ways that or one of the few reasons that I care about uh, increasing the level of my steam account is the higher the level of your steam account the more I guess steam friends you can have and steam friends is a way to make it easier to find and play with people for multiplayer games that use the Steam network to find and play with them in game. So increasing the number of friend slots on your profile by increasing the Steam level of your profile is uh, ties back into uh, the Steam accomplishments and getting the Steam trading cards breaks breaks and then uh, building those things to to level up your account so I don't fully understand it but when the steam sales are happening or, or when I notice I've unlocked uh, accomplishments I'll go into my steam profile and see if I've gotten the five unique cards or whatever it is required to to do that and I'll do that and I'll get my Steam account to go up a couple uh, levels or whatever. And if I have extras of a card, I'll list it on the Steam Marketplace at auction. And in fact, I had some extras I earned from this game. Damn it! You notice I didn't get... I didn't get assessed points. As an accident or damage, it was a slow, slow speed thing, thank goodness. But anyway, yeah, I sold a couple of the Steam trading cards. I think uh, I made 15 cents 
after the Steam transaction fee. When a game's new, the prices are typically higher, and then when a lot of people have the cards, you'll see the, the price for a card will fall down to three or four cents. So, this game just recently launched. So, I think it uh, makes sense to take any of the cards, the extra cards that you earn soon after launch. Go ahead and put them in the in the uh, in the marketplace for, and then sell them for 15 cents a piece. And then later on, after the game's been out for a while and the cards are common and the cost is only maybe three or four cents, you can turn back around and use the stop should have yielded uh, use that money to then just buy the cards back and you get three for the same amount of money three or four so that's just my strategy I'm sure there's some 12 year olds 13 year olds or whatever that are play games for hours every day after school who know it a lot better than I do. But the sell high, replace low strategy is uh, something that works in the stock market as well, which I do every day. Well, not every day. The stock market's not open every day. Every market day. traded foreign currency exchange that's open every day but I have not uh, I haven't done that yet and we're doing 68 and 55 so I recently had to I talked about that video uh, job interview I did and this new PC it's about a year old but it's got Windows 8.1 on it and my uh, video cameras I had previously um, didn't always work in Windows 8.1 that they were old enough that the drivers were still like Windows 7 drivers. So sometimes I would fire up the PC and I'd want to use my webcam and it would work. And then there are other times that I that webcam would not work. It would not work until I rebooted the PC and maybe it would work and maybe it wouldn't work. And so I made up my mind. Oh, I gotta adjust that mirror. I made up my mind that I was going to buy a new webcam and the job interview kind of pushed the pushed the timeline or forced the timeline on that so I saw what a lot of uh, streamers used and like was this Logitech C I think it's 920 it's on my profile on Twitch I'm pretty sure it's a Logitech C920 so I bought that on Amazon and hooked that up. That seems to be working okay. Right now, there are no lights on inside my house, but there's there's ambient light that's uh, kind of filtering in. The blinds are drawn, but there's light that's getting in. And so it's a relative, it's a lower light situation. And it does a good job. And if I went and I cut on the lights that shine um, 70 miles an hour to 55, I got to watch my speed. Um, if I cut on the lights that shine on here, then the skin tone, the color would become uh, warmer. And some of the, the shadows uh, would go away. Uh, and it 
would look a little bit better. But that kind of glares, kind of glares light in my eyes, and so I prefer not to. Uh, prefer not to do that. But I've been happy with the results. My uh, the, my older Logitech webcam still work fine on my uh, on my systems that are running Windows uh, Windows Seven or XP. So. But uh, the one thing that kind of kind of was disappointing was this uh, this camera did not have a privacy cover. So you set it up on top of your uh, you set it up on top of your monitor and it's sitting there at all times even if the blue lights that are on it are not on indicating that it's on you potentially have a, you know or in front of the camera and I have always liked having a cover over a webcam so in case it's inadvertently activated or left on or god forbid your system has been hacked by somebody in there well, got the ability to cut on the web camera without having the light come on um, that you still would have privacy I don't know about you but I am a person who will spend uh, time inside of my house in my underwear and uh, the last thing I want is for uh, is for people on Twitch or anywhere else for that matter who aren't expecting to see a fat older dude in his underwear on their computer screen uh, to see me That'd be different if you went to fatdudesintheirunderwear.com. By the way, I should check to make sure that, you know, see if that's already registered or not. Um, if you went there expecting to see that, then, you know, that's okay. Um, but I would, you know, there's some people I would have no shame about walking around in my underwear because, hey, it's just underwear. As long as it's clean, I mean, no big deal, right? But, uh, but yeah, so that's why when the C920 Logitech webcam showed up, without a privacy cover, it was like, man, the other web, uh, the other Logitech cameras for the most part that I've had in the past have included a uh, privacy cover you know are they getting cheap you know is this something that's going to save them three cents four cents a camera and so I searched on Amazon and somebody some inventive soul um, manufactures and sells privacy covers and uh, oh see there's my ach achievement progress company collector so I guess I delivered for another company um, and we're at 60,500 woohoo as far as our money in the bank but anyway um, so I bought from somebody who sells a little privacy cover that clips on the front and has a cover that hinges down bought one of those it's installed and so when I'm not uh, deliberately using my webcam then I can just 
push that little cover down. Although the camera sits on top of my monitor and it doesn't change, and so that the way that the camera's aimed and everything pretty much uh, doesn't have to be adjusted every time. But yeah, so I bought a privacy cover for it. But to otherwise, the camera works great. I don't use the mic that's built into the front of the camera. I have a, a Blue Yeti Pro, which is a larger thing. It's mounted on a stand. It sits right over here on the table. I need to get a pop filter for it, but um, and I don't have that arm that comes out, but um, but that's the microphone that I use when I'm streaming or making a phone call for my PC or whatever. Um, so I really haven't used the microphone in the webcam, so that could be crap, and I wouldn't know it because since I hooked it up, I've been using the what I consider to be a better microphone. Okay, so. I don't have Garage Manager. I'm trying to think. When does when does being able to buy a garage happen? Maybe that doesn't happen until you buy a, uh, until you buy a truck. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Do a game save. That's uh, you can call this one 60k. So I don't have to worry about using that. So let's do this. Let's take a, a loan out from the bank. And in order to be able to buy a truck, see, I got 50, 50,000 plus. 60 would be 110.5. So this is 122. 137, yeah, so 122 is the cheapest Kenworth in Los Angeles. Remember, 122. 122. Okay. Let's go for Peterbilt. Remember, 122 was our cheapest truck. 118. So 118 is the cheapest truck in game so far we've seen. Peterbilt. I'm gonna do this one. Peterbilt. 118,560, okay. Okay. And so with our 60,000, whatever, 50, that would be uh, 110. So we're still at least alone and eh, let's call it another Call it another ten thousand from being able to uh, being able to borrow that. Yes, I know I could borrow more money. Yes, but I don't want to. So let's look at our uh, map, and you'll see every city has been discovered. There are sections of road that have not been uh, discovered. There were also um, so the San Rafael, San Francisco. Uh, 
there one of those? Is there a San Rafael, San Francisco job? Or a San Rafael? So we'll take another job here. So by origin. So I'm just doing this to try to get roads uh, explored. San Rafael, San Diego. San Francisco Elko, San Francisco Elko. Oh, see, that doesn't go that coastal route, which is what I'm looking for. Now look, it's routing it that way. I'm going to take this job but I'm going to try to I'm going to drive it a different way maybe. Let's look at this map. So I want to end up this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave here and I'm going to cut over to San Rafael and come down this way to Santa Cruz. Okay. And you'll notice the places that you haven't been are still grayed out. So instead of going the way that the arrow said, I'm I'm going in a different way to try to increase the amount of roads that I have explored. So I'm going to go straight and then go all the way down and then hang a right and come back. So this gets more roads explored, plus if there's a dealer or recruiting agency off to the side of the road, then you end up discovering it as well.
So what I'm thinking is maybe to take that $50,000 loan out from the bank. That was a quick yellow. It was pretty quick. And, uh, and use that plus the money that I have to buy my own truck. See, that, if I go in and get gas there, I think it might be difficult. Let's see, let's, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Pull this bad girl up. So real life, I just finished my first cup of coffee, and I'm thinking, do I want another cup of coffee? See, that always happens, and then you drink that with a cup of coffee, and the first cup of coffee hadn't finished kicking in, and the next thing you know, you got the caffeine of two cups of coffee when you normally only drink one cup of coffee. Then you're sitting here playing a game, and you're going crazy. So, no. Could hold off on drinking another cup of coffee. steering wheels that I have are for consoles. I do not have a PC steering wheel. Normally keyboard controls are okay, but these little twisty roads like this probably would be a little bit easier if I had a steering wheel. Then I have to climb my steering wheel on. It's like a little production. I don't... When I did console stuff, I played racing games a lot, which was fun, but when I moved to PC, I haven't really played as many racing games. Part of the problem is, is I like playing, even though this is an online multiplayer, I like online multiplayer, but when it comes to racing games, online multiplayer is typically a wasteland. You get people that just run, to run your shit over. Or you get, again, the kids that invest hours and hours and are able to build and tune cars that are so much faster that the fun factor uh, just wasn't there for me. But yeah, I like the Gran Turismo and uh, Forza were a lot of fun. I made a good amount of money auctioning cars, too. Buying and selling cars was pretty fun. But
sign that recommended 25 and I knew I was cooked. See that car behind me though, and I'm worried that if I if I back up too much, I'll fucking hit that car. God damn it! It was nine hundred fucking dollars. So let's look at our map. There we are in Reading. I still have to go all the way down to Sacramento. And then I'll take the signs to San Rafael. Okay. Even ready. I find I usually, once I get about two hours of gameplay, is when it's time for me to 
take a break. So, that's what I'll do is I'll drive in this session until Now, this is one of the things I like about this Peterbilt is it's got the fuel gauges, like I can easily read that fuel gauge on the dash. And over there on the, kind of underneath the overlay of the GPS screen, This truck actually has a GPS built into the dash. It's pretty nice. I can say that when it comes time for me to buy a truck, I'll probably buy the cheapest truck available. And then, as I grow my business and I have other, uh, I hire other drivers, then I'll have, you know, I can, later on, I can buy a nicer truck for me to drive. But I'll keep my hired drivers driving. Uh, the other truck. In European truck king simulator, you know, I bought myself a truck that had higher horsepower and a little bit better suspension and drove a little bit nicer, but that's later on in the game. And uh, I'm not sure how the multiplayer on this works, but I have a suspicion that maybe, maybe you kind of only are able to use the things that you'd unlocked in game, which is one of the reasons why I'm just playing the solo the single player to the point where I can buy a truck, have stuff unlocked, because if I play multiplayer and it doesn't make me any progress on roads explored or other kind of stuff, then it may not be as good of an experience as playing multiplayer after having put in a number of hours in single player. So. So if you look at my GPS, you can see my gas is still close to full, but my bed is starting to turn blue. So there's a chance that we'll, uh, we'll stop for rest at some point. Where was it? Sacramento to... And we're going to go west towards San Rafael. That's right, okay. So just keep our eyes peeled for signs for San Rafael. See how that was? I was in the left lane and all of a sudden I got that notice telling me to pull in and I had to pull a fast very reckless two lane switch thank you for your cooperation I'm pretty sure I, that cooperation would have uh, non-cooperation would have cost a fine or some shit so why are you thanking like thanking a cop for giving you a speeding ticket. Why do you really thank him? sort of construction zone. Why are you giving me a ticket if you're in front of me, Cop? 
Hả? I could smash that cop between me and that dump truck if I wanted. You know I could. Hurry up, cop! Move, copper. This is to Truckee. But I don't want to go to Truckee. I want to go to Sacramento and San Rafael. Oh, oh, it does say Sacramento. That was some shitty, some shitty signage there. Let's see if our GPS will retrace the route or whether it'll try to get us to turn back around and get on the route we were on. Still showing going back the other way. Still saying go the other way. Let's look at the sign up here. Do we have a San Rafael? Yeah, San Rafael, San Francisco. There we go. Left lane. San Francisco, a half mile. Very nice, Ed. Good job, Ed. Good job. And so this puts us on the road. We want San Rafael, San Francisco. Go down that way. There we go. Nice. Oh, did our GPS reroute? Did it? Did it? Did it reroute? Okay. Now I need to look. Okay. So, if we stay straight, and then...
Yeah, so we want 101 south out of San Rafael. Okay. Just call it taking the long way. Oh. Again, the reason for this is to explore the additional roads. This could make my delivery late, which could affect my money. does help for game completeness. You notice there's an employment agency up ahead on this little right road and I can get back on the road so we're gonna do this little side loop just to discover just to discover it's something it's a question mark. we're gonna do this side road just to discover that the little gray question mark see on the GPS. That's what's making me do this. It's an employment agency. A recruiting agency. Very good. So that increases the selection I'll have when it's time to hire somebody to drive my truck when I'm not driving. Or to drive another truck that I buy. So yeah, where I see those in the GPS, I will always try to uh, try to add them. Now it looks like at this point the GPS is rerouted this route, which is exactly where I wanted to go. And I'm pretty sure <sighs> this takes us across the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, 101. Now you see this bed uh, right here in San Francisco. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need to sleep because you just heard my dude yawn in game. So, if they had added echo to the horn when you were in tunnels, that would have been a cool thing.
next rest stop in an hour and 38 minutes. So. Golden Gate, if you want to kill yourself, this is the bridge that you jump off of so that your body can get washed out to sea. They're supposed to be putting up like these ugly tall ass fences on the side so that so you can't do that. And all the places that you would park your car <sighs> to walk over on the bridge or under surveillance. They got surveillance cameras set up. So that if you park your car and you walk out onto the bridge, they're watching you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. There'll be no suicide. Whoa, whoa. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Are these the easy pay, the fast pays? Yes, this is an e-toll lane. Twenty-five bucks. They didn't have e-tolls in the European trucker. That car ran into me, you son of a bitch. They didn't have it in the European uh, trucker game, so I'm, I was aiming for the ones with the... I know I'm getting tired with the turnstiles uh, to begin with. bed looks like the place I could sleep is over here I d barely touched him how did I get $900 ticket for that you son of a bitch son of a bitch I fucking hate San Francisco It looks like there's a garage over here at the same place as the as the as the hotel. Which is convenient for us. Very convenient for us. Honestly, don't know what I'm hung up on. Is this an invisible wall? I think it's an invisible wall. It's an invisible wall.
Because you have an invisible wall. So I know you suck. Pairs are covered by my employee, my employer, which is nice. What is this? Called? What was this? A Peterbilt 579 sleeper. I would park here. It says. Shows this lot is a sleeper lot. Why can't I get over there? Huh? that it fucking invisible wall is.
Oh man. So this place is whack. It shows It shows a, ho a hotel parking, but the fucking gate was closed. ripoff that I couldn't get up into there to sleep that was a total fucking ripoff and I'm bitter about that hell yeah I'm bitter about that ticket for not sleeping or I'm going to pass out at the road. It totally sucks. It totally sucks. It's this game's fault. I hold this stupid ass game accountable for that. Rage quit. Rage on its stall. Incoming. car ran into me did not have the light so far I'm not liking San Francisco just saying for a parking lot.
I'm a, uh, yeah, I know how to fix this shit. I'm gonna go to the bank. Bank. Give me a loan, yes. Okay. I now have. I now have some money. Do I really want to buy this garage? Yes. I do want to buy this garage. Thank you. I have bought a garage in San Francisco. Still need to sleep though. I know. Okay. You're not offering me the option to sleep here. But I clearly saw
It didn't give me the option to sleep. So I dropped my trailer. I'm learning the game, folks. Okay. Okay. So I could rest as long as I drop my trailer. That's stupid. Well, that was stupid, but whatever. I had to drop my trailer to rest, folks. And I had to buy this garage in order to be able to couldn't the other place that had a, a sleep on it was gated off and the garage you had to buy and then you had to drop the trailer to be able to use it what a bunch of shit but you know what folks this is this is how you learn the game this delivery may be really over uh, Okay, the map. If I turn right, see, I'm going to what Santa Cruz, right? Yes, so I want to turn, I want to turn left and then stay on that road. Okay. San Francisco, I was down here not that long ago. Didn't go down here when I was in San Francisco for the Twitch conference, but I was in San Francisco before that last year. And stayed in a hotel that was like right over here on the right. This was the real world.
So it's not this first left. It's after that. Okay. Take Highway 1 south out of San Francisco down to Santa Cruz. There was a place to sleep. If only I just had gone there instead of buying that garage in San Francisco. Oh well. Oh well. Taking out that bank loan. Okay, look at this stupid, this GPS would have me take 152 west to get back onto the I-5, to then go south, to then get off on the 101, to then drive to the W. Yeah, instead we're going to stay on this road, and we're going to go south, and then we're going to eventually turn left. This is B 
be there as soon as I can get there. Oh, it adds that clock sound in there. Okay. Not very gay. Music is making me crazy. crazy no dollars no XP damage penalty ate up all of that motherfuckers okay fine wonderful wonderful let's purchase a truck what was the one I liked get to choose colors on. These aren't okay. I can get this one. How much is this one? 137 or 122? Okay, 
let's buy this. Okay. So we got a truck. We got it in my garage. Nice. So there we go. I've got got myself in the garage. There I am. Driver manager. Yeah, yeah. Recruitment agency. Peter P, Ray B, well I got zero eights, zero eights and one, how much a mile, they're all about the same, Peter P's at 1.7, Or what if, wait a minute, recruitment agency, so I looked at this one, let's look at this one, okay, hire a driver, Peter P, I think I want to hire, I think I want to hire Peter P. He's clearly better than the other people. Where do I want to sign him? In Bakersfield or in San Francisco? We'll put him in San Francisco. Oh, wait a minute. What if I said Bakersfield? It's locked. San Francisco. Put him there. Now I need to hire a truck. And I need to buy a truck in San Francisco. I got no I got no trucks in San Francisco. So I need to buy a truck. Yes. Oh, you motherfucker. I, I pull it into my garage and you find me for not using headlights. You suck. Truck manager. Driver manager.
Got 128 to work with. So I could only I could get a that Peterbilt. go to the garage manager I have one truck assigned to San Francisco one truck assigned to, to Bakersfield let's go to San Francisco I've got Peter he's assigned to Peter built we got to pay the bank what I get I get charged for that Excellent. Okay. Good. So, hey, what's up, Apple Pie? Apple Pie Moonshine. All right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna call it a break here. Let's save this. Save this as uh, two garages, two trucks, two drivers. There we go. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this session of American Truck Simulator. As you see, I took a loan out from the bank. I bought a garage, I bought a truck, I hired a driver, and uh, we'll just uh, we'll call it from there, and uh, next time we'll see if our hired driver has made any money for us, and uh, we'll take another uh, trip or two when we get a second. For American Truck Simulator, this is Edward saying, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and we'll play some games for you next time.